So, oh, girl, nah, uh-uh. If y'all don't, what? Whose makeup is this smooth? Like, nah, the blend. Aiko mob, yup, cause we the mob. It's your girl Sim here and I'm back with a brand new video today for you guys. And today's category is makeup. Now today, I am very, very, very excited because I ordered this package, you guys, what, three, four days ago and it came literally, it's yesterday, I think, processed, shipped, and delivered in three days, you guys. This brand is so popular, you have probably seen it all over Instagram, Facebook, something yourself. So this video today is going to be very exciting. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the mob and see the rest of my videos. Hit like on this video if you enjoy and comment video ideas, you guys. Also, comment your favorite part of the video and if you are a makeup slash beauty lover. Like if you are loyal to the mob and you have been here already, thank you, thank you, thank you for being loyal and coming back. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. Basically, I ordered in total seven things from this brand. So the brand itself, which I realized I didn't see the name yet, is Juvia's Place. So this brand is so beautiful to me, you guys. So I'm going to quickly read to you guys the Juvia's Place mission statement basically about Juvia's Place as a brand. So Juvia's Place is a black-owned makeup brand that offers the richest, most vibrant, and highly pigmented essential colors. I'm Lovely James White, hoping that you're going to be respectful. Chi Chi Iburu, a female black entrepreneur, new inspiration from African-American tradition and culture to provide beauty enthusiasts an affordable collection of colorful makeup. We strive to provide you with the most perfectly balanced, rich, and luscious colors with incredible wearability power. Every beauty enthusiast wasn't expecting this brand to be so affordable simply because even the packaging, like it's so rich, like it, you can tell there's so much quality put into whatever product it is from here, you guys. You wouldn't think they would charge like so low, which is amazing because they are, like I love that they still make things affordable to like, you know, our own cultures where they know we don't want to spend like $60 for like one, sorry, my mom's calling me. But what I was saying is, um, they are very down to earth, I see, and culture like appreciated, which is amazing to me. So when you see like someone post either a palette, whether it's the foundation, the sticks, the concealer, it is pigmented so well, so like, you can see it from afar. So every time I would see this little like option head figure on these eyeshadow palettes, and I was, I was just like, wait, what is that? Like, I know I see a beautiful black queen on the front of this makeup brand. Like, what is this? And my aunt put me on so many years ago, but because it's so nice, guys, I really thought it was so expensive, so I did not go look at it. So once I started going on the site, I was like, girl, you gotta make you an order of some stuff. So basically what I did, what I got for today's video is I got two of the velvety matte foundations. I was supposed to get two different colors just in case one didn't match my skin tone. I was supposed to get two, but apparently I pressed the same color on both of them. So I had two magic velvety foundations in the color Savannah, which is 440. So this is the cute little box they come in. This orange is everything, you guys. Like, look at this pack. Do you see that? Like, if you saw that, wouldn't you want to go buy it right away? Like, this is beautiful, y'all. I love this. So the colors on the top, I got Savannah. Also got 40. one of the shade sticks, like the foundation shade sticks. It's supposed to be a multi-purpose, yeah, multi-purpose foundation thing. I got this in a darker color, which is called Benin. So I got it to um, more for my darker contour part. So I got that to go up around there. I didn't get a regular concealer for that because I wanted to try each thing. So I'm gonna try the foundation, the concealer, and the foundation skin. This is my I Am Magic Concealer. I got this one in color 13. So I actually don't know if it's been in for that. I just know it's in, yeah, J13. So this seems to match me the most. So you guys, what I did to find my match is I went through all the photos, the videos. I looked on other people's YouTube videos. I made sure I wanted to support others who reviewed this. And I just saw like what really matched them, who looked most like me. like. I think you don't know, got spot on. So hopefully I got my colors right, but I don't, I'm not going to So the next things I got, which I am extremely excited, excited about, are these eyeshadow palettes, you guys. So this is the packaging that I would see every damn time I went on Instagram. And I was like, what in the beauty like? So this palette right here is the Nubian Royal Palette. It's so pretty. I'm going to take it off, you guys. I actually took it out already yesterday, but I put it back in there. So this is she. This is beautiful, y'all. I'm going to open it. Uh, you guys, look at those colors, like, so that is a new beauty for you. The next palette that I got is this, yeah, this is pretty much everything. This is so pretty, like, 
this is beautiful. You can tell I was feeling to open it because look at the top. This is called the Nubian Glow Palette, you guys. Y'all know I love me some glow. Highlighting is literally the favorite part of my makeup routine. Girl, nah. Uh-uh. If y'all don't... This is so pretty. And it's crazy because I have a lot of browns like these. Like, you can have a lot of similar colors in your palette and... This is the last palette that I purchased, you guys. This is the Nubian 3 Coral Palette. Now, this one is a little bigger. This baby right here. First of all, the packaging is my favorite color. This little pink is actually more peach, like the packaging, but let's the beauty. Y'all, the eye looks I can do with this baby right here. This is crazy. Like, and literally, you guys, I'm going to try to see if I can find the exact prices that I paid for this. But, so, my Nubian 3 Coral Palette which is this one, was $10, you guys. This beauty was $10. These two, I actually got in a bundle. So it was the Nubian Royal Plus Glow Palette Bundle, and this came out to $15. Two of these came out to $15. Not to mention, you guys, this is a vegan, cruelty-free, like, really natural makeup line. So they really try to make their products the best of the best. So it's not cheap because it's bad. And Benin was $8. This is a nice foundation stick here. My Velvety Matte Foundation, both of them together came at $20, so one is only $10, you guys. One little foundation thing, $10. I'll be paying like $15, and that used to be in the beauty store. My total was, I think my first my total was $56.14, and then my second total was $56.14, wouldn't even get me one of my Huda Beauty palettes. Like, that's how much it is. So, I just really appreciate that it's been so affordable. And now I'm going to do some try-ons. So, I'm basically just going to see the coverage of this foundation, try the concealer, and then I'm going to try the shape stick. So, I'll be right back. So, first I'm going to try this cute little squeezy foundation. So, this is... Basically, I'm just going to actually apply it to my fingers to show you guys a little bit, and then I'm gonna go in on this side because you can see it. Y'all, yeah, I'm kind of shook because that was really good. Like, it looked lighter than my face at first, but once I blend it all the way out, this coverage is amazing. Like, I put three little stripes right here and I cover this entire side of my face. Like, I just like, go down. Sorry. I just go down one like, like, that's crazy. Hmm, that's really not bad, you guys. I might wear some today, but I don't really plan on doing a face, so I don't know. But that coverage was. So it matches my skin tone pretty well. And next, I'm going to try this concealer in J13 and see how that covers. So the foundation is really like matte, you guys. Like it's like a soft consistency. You can tell it's lightweight to the face. It's not like heavy, thick, or anything, or cakey at all, actually. Yeah, it's not really cakey at all to me. It's crazy. That'll have the plus a little bit, you know? Okay, so this is the concealer. This is really cute, y'all. And this is thick. This is full, okay? Never have I had a concealer this thick, you guys. Like, I feel like this is a juicy, shimmering lip gloss or something. Oh my gosh. This is it. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it. Maybe I should do it on this side. I did my foundation, so you have to go. I'm gonna apply it basically where I always apply my concealer on this under eye area. People said it's really good coverage, so I'm going to not add so much because it does get its full coverage. Guys, that is pretty. Like, this is really thick. I'm not in blood already. I know it's gonna be good coverage. Like, Really good, like, oh yeah. I was blending so well, I thought I was coming off on my sponge like a lot, but then I looked at my 
this one is really like the basic number usually comes on. That is crazy, guys. Now, this, this is the foundation stick. stick. I'm loving this packaging, guys. This is so sturdy and like, like what? It just popped off all smooth. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. So this is my stick. Okay, I love using sticks, guys. I'm just gonna go in. Y'all, yes, looking for my other container brush, but I did find my other sponge that I'm attached to this thing, so I'm just gonna go with that. Oh my god, no. Whose makeup is this smooth? Like, nah, the blend on these products is different. Like, I think I'm exaggerating just because, you know, like, not, no makeup just sits on your face and doesn't blend, but I've been experimenting with all types of makeup for a while, and this is so perfect. That's crazy. And I saw some mixed reviews about it being too cakey and stuff, which is my opinion, and this is it to me. Like, I honestly don't understand why I haven't ordered from before this, like, it is not too cakey, even though I've only been one half of my face. Stay tuned, you guys, for me to do some swatches and some eye looks with the Juvia Plate Juvia's Plate Eyeshadow Palette because that is what I'm really, really, really excited about because these colors bomb. If you guys enjoyed this part of the video, which is my foundation and contour review, which in conclusion I found that one this is really bomb. Two, I picked my foundation, I believe, really good for me to be shopping online. Looking at my whole face, I feel like it's not off that much. It's actually not off. So stay tuned for those videos, you guys. In conclusion, Juvia's Place is the bomb. Uh, you guys can definitely go ahead and check out my description box. I'm going to put the links to the things that I ordered. Also, they are having a 50% off right now for all of the berries. So the eyeshadow palettes with the red, the berry collections, the berry lip glosses, lipsticks, liners, all of that. Go get it, you guys. To all my beauty lovers and everybody else who just came to watch my video to support, thank you once again. I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like this video, comment, join the mob, and stay tuned.